WTF Mark III paintball mine. Stack of paintballs, some paper towel to hold it in, a nail with some rubber bands, and a CO2 cylinder held back with a screw, which also doubles as an attachment. So basically what you do is you slap this against a tree and you tighten those two screws and then you take this fishing line and run that across the way and you cock back the nail hammer plunger and you slide this little cotter pin through it to hold it back and when something pulls the pin out and trips the wire it goes snap and it pops the CO2 and it shoots a fucking wad of paintballs out of there and it hurts believe me it hurts I tested it See how that works? Armed and ready. He'll probably see that line. But in a paintball game, you'd never see that because you're running around, you're wearing a mask. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Live. <laughs> see, we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that was loaded with seven. No, it was loaded with ten. Ten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just cut a chunk of two by four. Drill. 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 Drill, drill. Now you have a receiver block. Mass production. It's like the Liberator pistol. Anyone who hasn't heard of the Liberator pistol, the idea was to scatter a whole bunch of cheap disposable 45 pistols all over Nazi Germany and occupied France and resistance guerrillas and people, farmers, would pick them up and find them just falling in their fields or whatever and they'd have something to fight back with. So the idea was if we scatter a million pistols all over behind the lines, it's gonna cause a bunch of trouble for the enemy one way or another. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna hand these things out at a paintball game and cause a little havoc for the other team. Why not?